Okay, guys, hopefully my Peter won't act up again. Please be nice, Audacity. Well, not really Audacity, but Peter. Um, so, you didn't really miss anything other than all these plays, apparently, that are on the field. Uh, it's 1,500. It's 1,200. I'm not going to set any monsters. I'll just set this. Uh, I can't activate anything in my hand anyway, so we'll call it a turn. So, uh, if you're curious, we are in round two, round turn seven. Me and... I'm not even going to say it because I'm going to butcher it anyways. Me and Rav now are in round two, turn seven. Uh, I was recording this all the way through and my computer decided to start messing up at the part of recording my voice uh, so I just restarted the recording um, I'm not using it on just one card but um so hopefully my computer won't wa wonk out again I guess it's called but uh We'll see. So one player is playing Norialis, and the other player is playing, uh... I don't even know. I'm just playing something. <laughs> uh, my partner here is playing, uh, Demise OTK, it looks like. Not Demise OTK. It doesn't even really look like the OTK. It just looks like Demise. So, yeah. Um... So, okay, yeah, I agree with that play. I was gonna say you. I was gonna actually say something about that, but you know. So, anyways, hopefully we're gonna win. We're gonna try to win this match. Also, another note is we have our life points that we had our life points at twelve thousand for each, and um, we uh. We had our life points at 12,000, and yeah, this is basically what we're doing. Just tag dueling, and by the assumption that he wanted 12,000, I guess because of the mice. So, uh, the first duel, you really didn't miss anything. They Norialis uh, Ravnall's hand. Uh, then they use Alert Darkness, lost two cards. Uh, yeah, not really too much went on. Just basically that. It, nothing else in that part was really that interesting, I think. Uh, uh, also, a note is. A note on something is. um A note. Oh my, why are you? I keep saying a note. Okay, uh, just so you know, uh, I have it on me showing online, so I can make sure I can see messages from Ravnall, so that we can uh, keep in contact. So you might see people's names pop up in the bottom, or you might see like someone inviting me to something or messaging me. Also, no one here has a. Oh, I have a mic, but I don't have it plugged in. But apparently, no one here has a mic at the moment. So, but you know, either way. Oh, he's going Norialis, and uh, Stardust can't stop Norialis because Norialis sends everything, doesn't destroy everything. If you guys are curious. So, I'm. It's actually a good thing to record there because it definitely blocks or it shows off that Stardust can't really help you out in that situation. So, we got the Phantom of Chaos, which allows him to do something with something in his grave. Uh, sure, we'll get the Treeborn. 
So, um, I am at a really good advantage right now. Because I can make an a because I can make malicious fiend. Uh what's in his grave? He can get uh Ravnall send message again. I forgot to top my gores with place better. Hmm. So um so he wanted to keep gores if you're curious. So uh I guess he's just gonna take Dark Horse's attack and attack whatever I have. So um, so what I can do is because I drew Malicious Fiend, I can use this and get Malicious, Evil Hero Malicious Fiend, or Malicious Edge, oh my bad. So we'll put Gores in this, oh, I should have actually chose Demise, I'm an idiot. I am so smart. <laughs> oh going. Um, right. Uh, the reason why I say I should have chose Demise is because Demise wasn't really going to do too much in the grave. Compared to Gores, if you put Gores back, it'll do a lot more because it doesn't require a special ritual summon. Oh. Well, that sucks. So, oh, you actually have something you want to do? Oh, I see. Um, Junk Warrior doesn't get effect his effect off because of the fact that he was special summoned in this situation. So, most likely, I think it's a Bryonic. Oh, not Bryonic. It's gonna be Goyo. Because he can't use Bionic even if he wanted to. So he wants to take my Treeborn. Um, I am personally fine with this. <laughs> because of the fact the other guy still has Phantom of Chaos. So, yeah, I really don't mind him taking that. Because I'm not using Mirror Force on one Goyo. Unless if I really need to. I don't know if my partner agrees with me on that, but I'm not wasting Mirror Force if I don't need to at the moment. Oh, okay, apparently everyone's playing Yu-Gi-Oh now. So, he could have attacked over the Treeborn, but, you know, it's fine. So, what's he gonna do here? Okay, one set. And he's just gonna attack, right? Uh, another note is that if uh, Goyo Guardian attacks a Plague Spreader that was brought back by its effect, it gets banished. So, yeah, see, this is a little better situation. I don't know why he left Phantom and Chaos in attack if he wasn't gonna do too much of it. Uh, we'll destroy that back row. Um,. Oh, it's bottomless. Okay. And just so they don't have anything, I'm going to take out this. Uh, set that and call it a turn. So everyone is top decking at the moment. Uh, okay, he's gonna go for a junk, right? Junk or marauding? I don't know yet. So it looks like my Peter's acting fine right now. That's good. So junk can get back Arc Arcanine. Not Arc. What is that? Arcana Force. Arcana Force will block off our attacks, and he can attack over Plague Spider. And then we'll have Treeborn. But Treeborn won't do too much because we have a back row. So, Morphing Jar. Oh, he actually has something. Okay. 
Why didn't he just make level 5? Is he worried about my back row? It's definitely not Mirror Force. So he will probably make Cataster, but I would suggest actually a magical android because their life points are so low. But, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm pretty good at guessing these. <laughs> uh, a good note is if you did do Cataster, it could make sure that your opponent is stuck in a situation like this. So, um, right. Can't really do too much at the moment. Um, on a further note, even if I didn't set the Dark Fusion, the best we could have made was Armory Arm. Or, yeah, at the moment. Also, uh, we will probably have more defense. <laughs> uh, Miracle Fusion? Oh, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want, the Rock Monarch. <laughs> yes, that's totally what I wanted. Another Monsters game. So that's 4,000, we'll have 800 left. <laughs> uh, if by some miracle he can get back to my turn, and I do by miracle draw something that uh, is Fiend, we should be fine. But depends on what he has here. Wow. Um, uh... <laughs> Probably one of the worst top decks to get when you're using Demise. So, um, yeah, that's gonna get banished at the end of the turn. But I would just suggest running into it so we can go on round three. Yeah, I should have not sent Dark Fusion. Or. Yeah, Dark Fusion. So we could get Treeborn back. Which. would have helped, actually. I don't even know what their face down was. Um. Okay, so Zero Reaper is online, apparently. Um. Yeah, there's so many people that have their things set to they want to play Yu Gi Oh! But yeah, I never usually see them on Yu Gi Oh! anymore. I get Yu-Gi-Oh is not as popular nowadays, and Decade Decade Duels isn't as popular. So he can crush card, not that much that will do. Oh, but he does have a first turn demise. But in technical terms, he shouldn't demise if. Oh, well, I'm not gonna judge anyone. So, a good play is to probably just set, like, Divine Wrath and call it turn. Or, you know, just like set two, set one, whatever. Oh my gosh. That's why I like to be on busy. But, you know, I just wanted to keep my thing open just in case of Wrath, no. Scrub, or. Oh, I do not agree with this at all. Considering A, it's turn 1, B, you can't attack, and C, even if you did do your power plays now, bad things could happen. So, yeah. Okay, so he's just opening up for a crush card play? That's good. I'm really excited about this play, but I'm not as well. Because this is very risky what he's doing here. Because he's leaving himself like absolutely nothing. Oh, he play a scapegoat. That can 
imply that he has like nothing. If he's putting out scapegoat, yeah. Or okay, his mage power junk. That that which none of these would do anything. This one won't do anything because there's nothing in the grave. Dummy has to stay on the field. Level limit will just get blown up by demise, and gravity bind will still get blown up. And uh, mage power won't do too much. Uh, since he did activate this, he can only set cards too. So I could draw really broken, or I can draw really dumb and not get anything good. So that's most likely gravity bind, and that's good that I don't have to use. Actually, I want to use demise. Uh, no, I don't want to use demise. Wait, how would I get over gravity bind? Um. Either way, this will have to get destroyed because we can't attack. You know what, screw it. Either way, I look at it. Unless we set mage power. Yep. Yeah, either way, I looked at it. There was no way I was gonna deal down. Do en good enough to. stop things. The downside is we don't have a divine wrath. So we'll take this. I think. What is this guy? The regular friend of him? So we'll set this. And. I don't want to go set crazy right now. Okay, so he has no gores. We have personally checked his hand. He's got dummy. Actually, I don't know what. I think he set dummy and his junk, mage, and level limit, right? Yeah. So you can use dummy to get, uh. Or junk to get dummy. Dummy to make a level 5, and that card gets destroyed. So, let's see what Mr. Noyalis has. On one note. 46, actually it's 40, 50, this is personally fine, because, yeah, I'm going to activate it, gain control, change position, wait, what's it been, Grave Dark Crusader, okay. I could have set Heavy Storm with uh, controller, but there wouldn't have been a point. So um, I'm assuming my partner is going to make a Dark Strike. I think that's what he's going to do. I don't know though. Really? Um, alright. I mean, it's his plays, so whatever he feels like. So he's probably gonna make Dark Strike. He'll do 5,000 damage due to the fact that 2,600 plus 2,400. So 5,000 will leave the opponent with 2,800 life points. Dark Strike does a total of 700 times each level, right? I believe that's how that works. No, 200. So it'll be 16, and that'll uh, be 14. That'll be 3,000 damage, and it would be game. He would do a total of 8,000, depending on if they have gores. But if they had gores, they should have dropped on Demise. So they lose because of Dark Strike. <laughs> but, you know. And that was the conclusion of the duel, guys. Uh, sorry that I couldn't record round one because my computer was wonking out like it is now. Great. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to leave it off here, guys. And, uh,. Go ahead and hit that like button. Oh, no. Go ahead and tell me your thoughts, and I'll catch you guys next time.